Hey, it's Yomi here. So today I wanted to do a collective book haul and right now it's raining. I wanted to have a chill, relaxed, laid back book haul. I have no makeup on. I'm sitting on the floor behind my bookshelves because also my back hurts and I just want to sit on the floor and just, you know, feel like I'm talking to a friend while talking about books. So yeah, these are books that I might not tell you too much information about because there are some that I want to know little to no information about. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try and link them down below. If not, I'll write like a brief synopsis about them. It depends on how I'm going to do it. So yeah, um, the first books that I'm going to be speaking about are ones that I'm genuinely excited about because they are the Circle Trilogy by Nora Roberts. This was the first adult fantasy that I fell in love with after I read the City of Bones um, trilogy. When I read those books, I wanted to find more urban fantasy about stories that had um, shapeshifters and warlocks and, you know, just having vampires and, you know, just having a world that, you know, basically has gone into chaos because we have these things that are happening and, you know, we have these people who are, are unlikely heroes, but they're, you know, going to try and save the day. We also have witchcraft, which is that old school witchcraft, which I highly love, and also vampires. There is a brooding vampire that I remember that I loved so, so much. And I remember reading the first book, I think it was two years ago. And, you know, when I was in my 20s, I was obsessed with this series. Like, obsessed. Like, I tell you that I read this series about, like, every other week. Because that's how obsessed I was with it. And I'm so glad that I refound them because I had them in mass, make, mass market paperback editions. And they were yellow. I feared that they were going to attract cockroaches because I have a thing with insects in my room or, you know, along the lines. So I got rid of them and I was really content when I actually managed to snag them on a book outlet. So yeah, I can't wait to get this to this. This is Morgan's Cross. This is the first book. Then we have Dance of Gods, which is the second book. And also these covers are different. They're revamped. Like the other ones weren't that attractive. And then we have Valley of Silence, which is the third book. So I'm quite content to actually like, get to those. Might get to them around summertime because like I want to sit down and enjoy them. The next books that I got are also a trilogy. And this is the first trilogy that Susan Dennard ever released. And I am obsessed, obsessed with the Witchland series. So I wanted to read her first trilogy to see how is it that her writing has grown. And also to see if there are other characters that I can genuinely love. Because I am also fangirling every five seconds for Edwin. I can't stop thinking about him, especially Blood Witch. <sighs> that took a lot out of me. But anyways, um, I want to read her first trilogy, which is Something Strange and Deadly. Um, this feels like it's going to be historical fiction and also like pop probably zombies because those two look like zombies back there. Um, the second book is A Darkness Strange and Lovely. And the final book is Strange and Ever After. I love it because it has the pyramids on the back in the Giza Plateau. And I am obsessed with um, Egyptian mythology. So if it's woven into the story, trust me, I am going to fangirl and freak out like you have no idea. But I really can't wait to get to that series. Hopefully there's a character like Edwin that I can obsess with because, like, let's be real. He has stolen my heart. The next book that um, was gifted to me is The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Um, what I know about this is that it is a suspense psychological thriller. That's all I really need to know. I read The Woman in the Window, fell in love with it, want to read more suspense psychological thrillers, but, you know, not that crazy suspense psychological thrillers just because, you know, I don't think my heart can take it. What I know about this is that it says that two girls are forced into the woods at gunpoint. One runs for her life. One is left behind. That sounds creepy as hell. So hell yeah, I want to read it. The problem is that I read psychological thrillers during the day because if not at night, I won't fall asleep because my mind tends to play tricks on me. So yeah, I'm going to be scared for that one during the day. Um, the next one that I got is Dark of the West by Joanne Hathaway. I was sent this book um, in a book box that I represented in February and that is Fae Crate. Um, what I know about this is that it is a debut novel and I do love finding and discovering more debut authors. So this one is one that I'm highly intrigued by. What I know about this is that we have Aurelia who is a princess in one neighboring kingdom and then we have Aethon, he is a pilot in another kingdom, and it's like Aethon's mother is assassinated, and his father thinks that it's part of that um, siding kingdom, because it's like they have a rivalry, ri rivalry in between them. So he is sent to penetrate the kingdom, but along the line, he falls in love with the princess, so it has to deal with forbidden romance. Um, you know, um, the fact that there's war also included, and maybe not letting your kingdom get effed up along the way. So it sounds like it's going to be an interesting story, and I can't wait to actually like, sit down and get to it. 
The next one that I got is By Your Side by Casey West. I did manage to read the audiobook like probably a year, year and a half ago and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to get the physical copy of it and just sit down and enjoy it because this is a fluffy, cute contemporary that I want to want to reread because it was just that good. And what I know about this one or what I remember that I know about this one is that they get trapped in a library and that was something that always intrigued me. Like how is it the hell is it that they get trapped in a library and nobody else knows what is it that's going on and it's also like you know falling in love with the person that you least expect especially that bad boy that tormented soul and i have a thing for bad boys that are sweet underneath you know that have this facade that really isn't that bad but you know because they're you know a cinnabon inside so yeah dax if i'm not mistaken yeah dax is like that and i am all for that um the next one that i got is josh and hazel's guide to not dating by christina lauren i read roomies I think it was last year and I really really enjoyed it and I wanted to read more Christina Lauren books because there are some that I'm not gonna miss that I'm not gonna you know deny that I really don't care about but this one is one that really did intrigue my curiosity because it's like we have a main character who's really stubborn who has a way of thinking and it's also you know she's really blunt and that's something that did intrigue me because you know I'm along the lines like that and then we have <clears throat> sorry then we have our main character which who's Josh another character that you know it's like they are completely opposites so maybe opposites attract and they're trying not to fall in love with one another but obviously life has a funny way of proving things that you know you can fall in love with the least likely of a person that you expect so this might be a really fun and cute story so I can't wait to get to that one and the next one that I got is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Also, um, this one, what I think I know about it is that we have our main character and she's, can I say, like, she feels like, from what I read about the synopsis is that she feels really reserved. It's like, you know, she wants to be um, financially secure with this person, but it's like, I felt like she doesn't love him, but she just wants to feel security in her life and it's like, you know, she wants to you know, um, feel like there's nothing missing, but generally doesn't matter if she loves him or not, but then something happens in her life and it's like, you know, everything gets turned upside down. So it might be an interesting story about, you know, grief and dealing with things in life and also, um, falling in love with something that, with somebody that you maybe might not expect to fall in love with. I'm just being, you know, having a wild assumption on that i don't know if it's really really true but that's what i think that i got from the synopsis so that's one that i'm really really genuinely excited for the next one that i picked up was the chaos of standing still by jessica broody what i know about this one is that our main character received a text message and she doesn't want to read that text message because it's the last text message from her friend and her friend is one that you know she died I don't know how is it that she died, but it's maybe a story about grief and also dealing with grief and finding maybe friendships that you weren't expecting to find and also like maybe aid or help from other people that you really weren't likely expecting to find. So it sounds like a really interesting story of discovering yourself and also dealing with loss. So that's something that really did attract me when I read the synopsis a while ago. I, my dog is dreaming. He's moving his little paws. Oh. But yeah, this one sounds like it's going to be a really good read. So maybe heart-wrenching? We don't know. Possibly. Hope so, because I like to cry in contemporaries. I'm a sucker for them. You know, I'm, I'm a weak soul sometimes. The next one that I picked up was I See London, I See France by Sarah Mironowski. Um, this is a road trip kind of traveling through Europe story and maybe possibly seeing other things and learning from them. Maybe, um, possibly like growing as a character and enjoying it. It sounds like it's going to be a hilarious, fun story. So I hope it's that way. Do you hear him? He has a little paws. I'm just like, oh my God, it's adorable. Okay, the next book that I got is Blood Witch. I already read this one. I have two copies of this one. If you can see the other one is right there. That one is my annotated one. This one is the one that I got from the Fake Crate box. And I got it because it has the book plate where is it at? i need to show you that book plate because oh, it's so pretty there it is and this is the third installment in the witchland series this is or it has an arc of Aidwin, which is the blood witch the one that i love there are so many things that are happening so many plot twists and turns that just suck me in and just ah, such gorgeous and beautiful moments that i'm going to be rereading this book and doing like a book diary because it's going to be spoilery because I want to get all my thoughts out and also some theories that I have. So expect that pretty soon because 
I completely fangirled over that book and I still have it in my mind. I can't take it out of my mind. The next one that I got is a Vortex Vision by Elise Kova. I've always wanted to read an Elise Kova book and this one I got it also in a fake crate box because I represented them until March. This was the book that was included in their March box and I've always wanted to read stories about her because she sounds like an interesting author. I just never managed to pick them up. I don't know anything about this. So that's how I want to go into it. And also like the dust jacket is freaking stunning and also on the front it has um, that detailing. And I'm excited for this and what I can tell you about it, it says that um, a desperate princess, a magical traveler, and a watch that binds them together with the fate of a dying world. That is it. That's all I'm going to tell you. And I'm genuinely, genuinely excited to start this one. And the last book that I'm going to tell you is A Legendary by Stephanie Garber. This is the sequel to Carnival. It's somewhere in my bookshelves. I really did enjoy Carnival and I wanted to see where else is it that this story led to. And I haven't read this one just because I then I discovered that, you know, it was going to have a third book. So Finale is on its way to come out. So I'm going to wait to pick that one up until I can just sit down and binge read all three of them. Because I don't want to be stuck right if this has a cliffhanger and I'm going to be like, why, 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 why do you end it in a cliffhanger? So if it ends on a cliffhanger i can have the final installment there ready to pick up so yeah those are all the books that i got i want to say thank you for watching i hope that you have a wonderful day or night and i'll see you in my next video peace